trilogy, won the championship last season. Rashad McKenzie had 22 points in the championship game. They knocked off the three-headed monsters by five. They went undefeated 10 and 0 and unbeaten. The undefeated champions are back tonight at taking on Tri-State. Brian Custer alongside Jim Jackson. You know the question. Can they run the table again, Trilogy? I, I think it'll be a little bit more difficult. No Al Harrington tonight. I know, no Al Harrington, but Bully Ball is back in the building. Every team is gearing up to play them. Tri-State, retool, recalibrated. This will be a good test. All right, let's get right to the rosters. Let's start with the defending champion, Kenyon Martin. Al Harrington, he's out. He tweaked his knee, but you got McCants, James White, and Dion Glover, as well as the new addition, Dante Jones this season. Rick Mahorn, the pride of Hampton University, their head coach. And then for Tri-State, the doctor, he's their head coach, and boy, they've retooled the roster. Amari Stoudemire's new. Nate Robinson is new. So they have brought in some new additions to try to make a run. They went three and five last season, and there is the Hall of Famer, Julius Dr. J. Irving. Yo, Kmart, we're on defense. And there is Rick Mahorn, Hampton go. University let's grad. Let's defense, I tell you what, defense. you NBA champion. You had the players last year, All right, no doubt go. with Trilby. But the coaching job that Rick Mahorn did in regards to some play calling, how to utilize timeouts, the defensive schemes, late clock situations, out of bounds plays. I mean, he put his team in a situation the positions that they can ultimately go out there and be successful. Excellent job last year, coaches. Here's Hawkins, wide open, mid-range jumper, and he knocks it down. David Hawkins scores the first two points of the game. Come on, Sadi. Come on. Take the challenge, Nate. Take the down. Take the challenge. And look for McCann to post up Nate Robinson. Go to work. Go to work. He walked out in introductions with a choker oh, mask on. Okay, got me. He will go right to the line. Yeah, and see, if, if you do that now, Don't you play. have to make a decision of where you go double from, okay? Because I'm, if I'm a Kansas, I'm going straight to the post. Don't lose that good if you're not going to double, right I'm going to go one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to score. If not, do you come off, you can't come off of James White, and Kenyon Martin is going to be kind of posted a little bit up, more underneath, up, so up. Jermaine O'Neal can't help as much. So it's going to be extremely difficult to get the ball out of McCann's hands with this lineup on the floor. Here's Trilogy. Nate Robinson attacking. Missed it. McCann's lays it right up and in. Yeah. Good deep, good deep. Great recognition that time by Rashad. One more time, yo, watch out. By yourself. By Here's yourself. Jermaine O'Neal. By yourself. Working on Kenyon Martin. Spin out. Captain on captain. Three, two, one. Oh, There's yeah. the strip. Three, two, one one second. O'Neal knocks oh, down the jump. Well, how calm was he? Didn't panic. He recognized he had two point something seconds. Stepped into rhythm. Knocked in the J. Oh, shit. Really? Really? He's called Great defense that time by Kenyon Martin, but They're a little one hey, hey. anticipating the balls going out of bounds. Jermaine O'Neal calmly. Rhythm dribble splash. Y'all two. You and Here's James White. Right now. Right now. Use it. Use it. White can definitely shoot it. He pulls up. The heel of the rim. Nate Robinson. Knocks down the three. Robinson for three. I love the intensity right now because Nate Robinson, you know you're not going back down to McCants. It's real here now. I love yeah. the intensity. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And it started already and the crowd loves it. There's Nate Robinson and McCants. See, the fire doesn't die with when you're competitive, what? when you're used to competing. And actually, because the skill set is left a little bit more, that competitive nature is a little bit more intensified because you have to beat your opponent a different way. Look at, look at these two. He said, what'd you just say to me? 
What did you just say like, to me? What? <laughs> what did you just say to me? But you got to know the history of Nate Robinson. Yeah, He's a absolutely. football player. Oh, okay? Absolutely. You know, football players got a little screws loose. You know that, right? Yeah. Here's McCann. Yeah. See, it just, but I love the challenge, right. though. I love when players go back and forth. Keep it. We're not going we're not, we're not, we're not to always take it to the street. Right. But, but keep competing. They're going to call that one on McCann's. The push. Yeah, but when you have that kind of physical nature, it puts the onus on the officials to decipher when it's being physical and when it can get out of hand and kind of control that a little bit because we still want to maintain the order and pace of play and fluidity of the game, and you can't do that when you're ultra-physical. So the officials have to step in at times. Hawkins. Tried the three, follows his own shot, lays it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah what well, you got to understand that being the champ, everybody's going to come at him. And that's one thing I asked Rick Mahorn about, about the attitude, about the mindset coming into this year, knowing that you got this big target on your back. How do you approach it? And he just basically said, listen, we got to do us. Do we do James best? White. It's a one-point lead for Tri-State. Oh, this one's intense early. Hawkins thought the about the four. By yourself, Shotty. No help. Main O'Neal just backs his way in. You don't think that's the trouble there? Okay. Can you bring the same intensity if your trilogy that motivated you to win and go undefeated Take last year. It's always to tough, I don't care what you do, to repeat and not get complacent. Here's McCann's and Robinson, five on the shot clock. Backs his way in. White's got to shoot it. Too late, too late. You gotta recognize, but that's a good double team that time. Late in the shot clock, and right here is just one-on-one. -on -one. Jermaine O'Neal lost his balance a little bit, but Kenyon Martin not able to recover. That three by Hawkins, no good. McCann. Robinson down on the baseline. And they're going to call that one on Robinson. Let's see. Let them talk. Actually, they called that one Let on. Okay. Is that Kenya Martin? Kenya Martin? Yeah, because oh, it's Martin. over to Tri State. Shotty, Here's up. Hawkins. To Jermaine O'Neal. See, and that's what Kenya has to do. That time he forced Jermaine O'Neal a little bit further out. They had to make him work so he just can't take one or two dribbles and get inside the paint. Can't call for it. Step back. They'll call that hold for Nate Robinson. Yeah, I think last year, too, James White was probably the guy that didn't get a lot of recognition, but I thought he put this team over the top. It's a great point. That's the one thing Rick Mahorn said. He said, our difference maker, James White. No question. He had the athleticism defensively, and he can shoot it. O'Neal. McCants reaches in. Dante Jones will check in. So will Robert Height. You can't play with him. You got So here's Jermaine O'Neal. Nearly 20 seasons in the NBA. Played for seven different teams, but of course, most of it came with those Pacers. He's got six points now. And Tri State, an early five point lead on the defending champs. Well, you know, the big three brings out all the big stars. Hey, before the games today, John Stewart, Dave Chappelle came out on the court. <laughs> Shot around, tried the alley oop with John Stewart. Let's see his form. Oh man, he's shooting it from his chest. Man. We, gotta, we gotta work on his form to get it up a little bit higher. All of them in support of Ice Cube here in the big three.
Now, and that's the respect, I think, the love. And I saw it last year. LL did a lot of traveling early on, not just New York, but he was in Tulsa. Yeah. He was in Charlotte, yeah. you know? A lot of guys that came out to support Ice Cube. And I think that goes back to the respect of watching him grow from a young rapper to a movie star actor to now the consummate businessman. Yeah. And this is a business right here. Putting all this together, the concept hey, hey, is great. Hey, same thing. But having the business background and acumen in order to pull this off. Speaks volumes of who Ice Cube has become as a businessman. Jenny Martin with the running jump hook missed it. Here's David Hawkins, Dante Jones, newest member of Trilogy. Gets worked by Hawkins. And what you'll see too with these two teams, especially Hawkins, McHance, a lot of bully bully. Okay, they'll bump, bump. If you're not going to help, they get you off balance. The three. No good by Dante Jones. All right, get Amari, get Here Amari comes the Hawkins. Amari Stoudemire checks in and Hawkins strokes the three. David I mean, listen, if you're Trilogy, you got to match the intensity, intensity of Tri-State. You won it last year, okay? But Tri-State had a tough year, so they're trying to prove what they can do. They were three and five last year. He won the shoot. Okay. They were in a lot of games but couldn't finish. On the side. Right. On the side. And Tri State now on a 10 0 run thanks to on David side. Hawkins and Nat Four. No, no, no. When you're feeling good, you just let it go. And here's the bully ball I was talking about. You're not going to help. You can't guard me one on one. I'm a little bit too physical. That, day, that time, Dante Jones just not able to keep his position. James White going to the line, shooting one for two. Got it. No Al Harrington in the lineup for Trilogy. Of course, Trilogy went undefeated, won it all. Went 10-0. But Buckets is not playing tonight. Tweaked his knee. Here's the kick out to Dante Jones. Gets the roll. Lead is now seven. As Tri-State has totally revamped their roster. Well, they had to because it just wasn't working last year in regards to the players they had. And, and that's the beauty about going through the first time of the league. You figure out who and what you want. Four new players, including this man right here. Mari Stoudemire. Bounce in the house. I'm going to tell you something. My, my first year in Phoenix, Amari, it was an 04 05 season. Nobody wanted a piece of Amari inside. I don't care who it was. I think he averaged like 32 points that year in the playoffs. And he was getting it from everywhere. Again, you had the facilitator and Steve Nash. But my goodness, I mean, so explosive. Oh, no, it was. And in. in give Mike D'Antoni credit because in his system, Stab was able to perform with the pick and pop. He shot the 15-footer. Athleta got out and run, and nobody could really stop and match his quickness at the fourth position at the time. Deion, Deion Glover knocks hey, down that let's shot. Let's get a stop without a foul. Let's get a stop. He's had microfracture surgery on his knees. That's the no one foul. thing that cut down the explosiveness. What a height shoot start. Four corner. And unfortunately, injuries are a part of the game that we play. Four seconds on the shot clock. James White, the drive, kick the Glover. Got the three. Excuse me. Watch the foul. 21 17. Calling the same thing. Let's see. What? By yourself. Well, Watch the to see Watch or hear some of the things that's going on on the court right now. Yes. <laughs> Deion Glover Three yelling seconds. at Bonzi Wells, telling them in so hey. many words they can't help with a couple. Of Glover had to help on that one. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Missed that three. Yeah, Glover. Deion Glover has certainly come in and given him a spark. Yeah. He's six seasons in the NBA. 
David Hawkins drives. Can't get the end one. Rashad McCann's a check back in. James White to have a seat. Here's Hawkins. Played his college ball at Temple. Won a championship over in Turkey. Italy as well. He was an MVP there in that league. Hey, hey, we getting them to the Hawkins foul line. now that's, that's 12. Tri-State just two points away from the half. Here's Robert. Hey! Knocks down the four. As we head to halftime. And Tri-State up 10 on Trilogy. Well, one team wanted more than the other. The champions came out flat-footed. Tri-State retooled. New players, it may be the same name on the front of the jersey. The name on the back are different. And they're showing up in H-time early on. Tri-State up 10, 27, 17. We're at the half. It's the big three here on FS1. Back here in Houston, the night lights are out, and we're at the half. A half of basketball left to play here in season two. Inaugural game, the big three season, as Trilogy, the defending champions, down by 10 at the half, trying to stay undefeated. We already have three big winners here tonight, three-headed monsters, three's company and power, all winners tonight, with Davis boys leading the way for their respective teams, both Baron and Big Baby, but first of all, Three-headed monsters, Mahmoud, Agu, Raouf, the game winner right there as they got off to a good start. Of course, they were the runners-up last year. Baron Davis making his big three debut, and uh, let's just say B. Diddy was not shy, especially from that four-point shot. He shot everything, and how about Big Baby? Glenn Davis also doing his job. Lead of foot, he knows he's always had that great footwork. As once again, Power got the job done. Corey McGetty also had a big game for them. As Power gets the job done, we'll see if Trilogy can make that comeback tonight against Tri-State. But Tri-State's playing a hell of a ball game so far here in the first half. As you see here, my floor director's telling everybody to get out of the way. So I'm going to get out of the way as well. Jim Jackson, Brian Custer with more from the first half. God, take it over. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Yeah, seven or ten point lead here for Tri-State. And you talked about it. Trilogy didn't come out. With that same passion that we've seen them, especially last season, it was Tri-State who came in and took it right to the champs. Well, it's a lot of passion, but directed in the wrong direction, so to speak, in regards to the intensity wasn't there, the attention to detail. They figured they could walk on the court because they were the champs and just wrap up this game. But again, Tri-State retooled, got new faces. They want to prove something right now. 10-point lead, Tri-State has all the momentum. One of those new faces is Nate the Great Robinson. He's with Michael Rappaport right now. I'm here now. with the biggest little man, Nate the Great Robinson. Hey, you don't back down from anybody. What is Rashad McCants talking about out there? Man, he's just running his mouth, but, uh, I mean, you come to the game with a joker mask, you got a glove. I don't, I don't play that shit, so for me, he just, like, I don't know, I just want to win. Our team's going to do whatever we got to do to win. You got to punch a bully in the mouth. You got to come out and do it. And you got to back it up in the second half. That's what we're trying to do. And how do you like the physicality of the big three so far? It's cool. I mean, it's my type of game. They keep saying I'm too little, but they got to guard me too. So it's, it's going to be fun. We're going to see how the second half uh, unfolds. So we're going to see. All right, Nate, thank you, my man. Brian? All right. Well, hey, look, Nate can talk with the best of them now. You know, he may be small in stature, but hey, the game is big. and. And so is the trash talking as well. Whether it was James White or Rajab McCants, he's going to come at you. And so has Tri-State as we begin the second half, and they've got a 10-point lead. Well, you got to keep in mind, during the training camp, you see off the box, James White with Amari Gardner, and he talking. But Rajab McCants at training camp Watch came with a crown please. on in regards to winning the championship. Myself, he wore it today to the game. Then he Pick. came out with the Jokers match. Pick. So don't think for a moment these competitive I'm athletes didn't keep that in mind foul. coming into this game. Hawkins tried the four, missed it. Laid up and in by James White. All of a sudden, the lead is now five. And well, guess who comes out with a little bit of momentum? Yes. The champs in the second half. 
By yourself. They've kind of retooled their Switch lineup. It's McCants, Glover, By and White. Glover, of course, gave him that run with a couple of threes in the first half. And Stack knocks down the 15-footer. Yeah, and this is a different starting lineup in the second half for Tri-State. Okay, you got Height, Hawkins, and Sotomayor. So not the same starting three that got momentum early. Can't go to the line. First team to 50 wins. You got to win by two. And here is Nate McCant. This guy was the or Rashad McCant. He was the overall number one pick in last year's big three draft. And played big all season long. And look at that. Follows up his own shot. Now all of a sudden the lead is just five. Yeah, yeah well you figure trilogy with Rick Mahorn would kind of regather their focus. Mari Stoudemire. See, this Tri-State team last year were in a lot of games, but they couldn't finish when they got down the straight. They didn't have finishers on their team. Bonzi was in and out with some injuries. Mike James, but this year, they got guys now that you can count on that can make shots and finish. Like that. Like that. David Hawkins. He hasn't given us a call yet. You know, you turn it over. That's what I thought. Take advantage of it. Hawk, understanding you don't have to clear it above the three-point line, and that's when you have an advantage to now attack and get inside and attempt to complete an old-fashioned three-point play. Mm -hmm. Completes. Three-point play. Lead is back to 10. Hawkins has got 15. And I like the response. A little flat-footed coming out of the halftime. Kans misses that jumper. Height. Air ball. McCann the follow. He'll go back to the line. Try to say you got to be smart. Got a 10-point lead. You really don't need that shot. While you got Trilogy on their heels, that's when you want to apply the pressure. You don't want to allow them, being Trilogy, to get momentum to get back in the game. And you do that by taking shots like that. That can totally change the momentum of the game and give Trilogy some type of rhythm. Nate Robinson got a nice round of applause as he checks back in. They always appreciate the underdog, the little man, and Andrew. You know, by following his career, he was always counted out because of his size, so he always had to prove himself. And he did that in the dunk contest. He did that by playing for multiple teams and always being a threat. There's no difference here. It's Dottemeyer working on Dante Jones. Jones with the steal. McCann missed that three. Back in the post. Hawkins now. He's got five on the shot clock. Back to Stoudemire. Turn around. No. Go now, Tay. Dante Jones will work on. Nate Robinson. Missed that one. He reaches in. See, you got to understand that when you have an isolation with Nate Robinson, his lower, his center of gravity is lower. So you're trying to bump and grind. Get it, make a quick move, shoot over the top of him. You're trying to grind with him, but he's up underneath you. So you don't have any balance. He has the advantage from that perspective where he doesn't have the advantage if you pull up over top and you shoot. Eight point lead for Tri-State Trilogy. The defending champs right now on the ropes. It's the big three. Here on FS1. The Hawk, David Hawkins, making his presence felt 17 points. Listen, he played three games last year with a different team. So he had to prove that he could play. And right now, he's showing bully ball inside, but also the ability to knock down jump shot. 34-26. The score, let's go down to the court, Michael Rappaport. All right, I'm, I'm now down here with David Hawkins. You're playing ball. You guys are about to knock off the champs. How you feeling, Hawk? I'm feeling good, but it ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. It's about, we got the first to 50. 
What do you think about your guy, Nate Robinson, so far? I think Nate is going to be a dog in this game. I just, I try to tell him, you know, don't get into the wolf and don't worry about the rest. Play his game. All right, keep going. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting seized upon. Brian? You <laughs> see, James White didn't want to hear none of that. Yeah, you know, he walked up on the let, interview. Let me say this, too. The headband that David Hawkins has oh, on, that's row 45. That's with Rasul Butler, who oh, tragically nice. passed yeah. away. Yeah, played for power last played season. Played for power. Started off, I mean, unbelievable young man. He and his wife in the tragic cat, uh, car accident in L.A. Uh, rest in peace, my man. James White. And Dr. J wants to mismatch inside with J.O. and James White. No help. Hey. He help off Nate Robinson. Oh, Nate, ball fake, drive. And the bucket. Dry State up 10. McCann drive. No, the follow. Light. No. Kenya Martin has it taken away by Hawkins. And O'Neal lays it in. What starts happening if you're a trilogy? Not playing well, you get frustrated, you complain about every call, go to the officials. They're not used to being in this situation right here. But they've been down. But here's Nate Robinson. What you didn't see was the pump fake. He used it to perfection. Right there, Kenya Martin, stay down. The Air Force don't want you. <laughs> Nate Robinson able to get inside. <laughs> the Air Force doesn't want you. Come flying by, brother. <laughs> Kenyon Martin missed it. Here's Nate for three. Air ball. Robin. Shermaine O'Neal follows it up. And Tri-State is 10 points away from dealing Trilogy their first loss in the big three. Crossover. McCants. Got it. Rush. But can Trilogy get the stops? Right now, they've shown an inability to consistently stop Tri-State on the defensive end. Nate. And one. Nate Robinson putting on the show. <laughs> and Nate Robinson showing you that he made it with his left hand. Check it out. Okay, Rashad McCants, you had the crossover. I'm coming right back at you. You found me. Offhand left. So you think this doesn't mean anything to these guys. You're fooling yourself. Absolutely. You're fooling yourself. Damn. Guys came back in shape, and they knew the intensity was going to be strong. Oh, yeah. Nate Robinson playing in his first big three game. He's got seven. We talk about value adds in business and life. Well, value adds right now for Tri-State. David Hawkins. And also Nate Robinson. Hawkins lays it in. Tri-State six points away. Well, it, it, the way it's going, Trilogy won't be bowing. <laughs> after this game, after taking the L, something that they didn't do last year. And keep in mind, no Al Harrington as well. Well, yeah, and that makes a difference, but forget that Al didn't play. Trilogy didn't come out with any kind of aggression or intensity. There's Harrington in the black. You know, Tri-State did, and they put him on their heels from the beginning, so forget that Al Harrington didn't play. The body language and the attitude for Trilogy just wasn't there. So maybe this is what they needed in the first game, a wake-up call to understand that this is going to be a different league this year. Al Harrington averaged 15 points last season. He's the co-captain. Tweaked his knee in practice. He was money in the bank in the post. Oh, you couldn't stop him. Here's Jermaine O'Neal. He's made his living in the post. Four seconds now. Spins. Rolls off. Oh, 
How about that? Hawkins steals it. And Kenyon Martin wasn't even looking. As something happened, he's grabbing his thumb. And James White thought that Kenyon was going to roll to the basket, and Kenyon just kind of just walked away. Just take a look. Right here, Kenyon's walking away. And McCants comes in. They take a look at the hand of Kenyon Martin. Followed by White, no good. Here's O'Neal. Lays it right up and in. You didn't take it back. No, you got it clear. No basket. They say no basket. But that time, I think it was, was that Nate Robinson didn't clear it all the way back above the three-point line. So the officials caught that early. That's a turnover. Here's McCann for four. Got it. Four ball. Rashad McCants. Here's Nate Robinson. Showing off the handles. And <laughs> these McCants get tied up. This is Texas, right? Yes, no two step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no two step. <laughs> Takes two to tango, baby. Keep hey. it going. Hey. hey, he should be your role model, little man. It's heating up. It's time to go to center. He should be your role model. A four pointer, and the game is over. Here's O'Neal. Back on the block. Stripped by White. Laid up and in. All right. 12-point game. Defensive stop. Get it under. Get it to 10 or under. Boy, the intensity is picked up oh, here. Yeah. Great defense that time by Dante Jones. O'Neal, turn around. Got it. Tri-State two points away. Always good to have a postman that can bail you out at the end of the shot clock, that can just catch, turn, and shoot over the top. Man O'Neal made a living throughout his career of getting himself on the post, prime time position. The kid that's grown up, still knocking down buckets. Can I ask you a question? How long does it all I'm saying, we ain't get shit today. That's the percentage. Fourteen point lead for Tri State. Under the leadership of Dr. J. They have revamped the roster. New ads in Amari Stoudemire, Nate Robinson, David Hawkins, Robert Height. And they are two points away from delivering the first loss to Trilogy. The defending champions went 10-0 last season. He will be inbound. Let's see if they go to O'Neal. And they do. Now hold up. It should be, it should be, it should be Trilogy's ball because O'Neal scored inside. They gave the ball to Tri-State. Took a lot of coaxing by a lot of players yeah. to get that yeah. play stop. They roll, they roll it back. Right. There's no need to look. It should be should be trilogy's basketball, but the referees want to take a look just to review the last basket. Real simple. Hawkins inside to O'Neal. Two. 
Change possessions. Yep. After the okay. timeout, Trilogy's ball. So now we get that cleared up. And that's Trilogy. How, that's how fast down. replace your work. Yeah. NBA and other places Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Quick decision. Way to go, Steve Shaw. Here's McCann. The kick out to White. Missed the three. Here comes Nate Robinson. For the game. Why not? Got it. Why not? Why not? The smallest man on the court with the biggest points. Nate Robinson. As he grabs the mask of Rashad McCann. You think it doesn't mean anything? You think this doesn't mean anything? Well, I mean, if you're Trilogy, though, you got to be able to take it. You've been giving it out the whole time, okay? All in the game of sportsmanship, somebody come back at you, you got to take it. If you don't take it, you, you, you come to the court and you prove it, but Tri-State came out and took the game. So if you want to be mad, be mad at the fact that you didn't come to play. 51-34, Tri-State knocks off the defending champs as Trilogy suffers their first loss in the big three. And I think it's in part to Nate Robinson. Yeah, I think Nate is in there. You know, what you don't want is any altercation. You want intensity when guys that go at it. You want them to compete extremely hard. And Nate went back in and kind of apologized, which I love. Because in the heat of the moment, you react. But Nate wanted to show everybody, put an imprint. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Trilogy who? But this adds more intrigue, I think, to the league going in now that the champ has been knocked off in the first game. Chicago should be something. Oh, it should be. A, <laughs> but, but the next team, think about it. So Trilogy next, they're playing three-headed monsters. So what did you do? What did you see that Tri-State did well to knock Trilogy off of their perch, so to speak? You came out, intensity, intensity level was higher. You passed the basketball, you played defense. You didn't allow Trilogy to take advantage again. You didn't have Al Harrington, I understand that. But all the intangibles were on the side of Tri-State. Man, it has been quite a night here in Houston as Nate Robinson and Tri-State put on quite a show. They get the victory over Trilogy. We'll wrap things up when we come back.